Hello. Hello. Uh, given the weather, um, this one's called Dunedin Song. I don't really talk much between my stuff. I don't trust myself. <clears throat> Dunedin Song. I heard her footsteps over the rain in the hallway above. On the stairs, she slipped past me, towed her hair all touching, rubbing across our woods. She grunted softly and continued down. By the front door, she turned, and this thing that could have been a smile wafted from her lips. It had no momentum, though, and arced back and forth, gently towards the floor, a flesh feather, pulled outside by the draft of her, running to the car, taking the front steps three at a time. Its short life ending on a rotting porch, amongst bottle tops, unread community newspapers, and mud wiped from shoes. It had been raining for weeks. Yes. <clears throat> this is a film script. <clears throat> it is midday, interior. We see a white wall, medium shot. The corner of the wall is in the left of frame. Mostly wall, though. Stuck on the wall is a photograph. It is the photograph of a memory a joyous occasion. Time passes. Pan down, a chest of drawers. The drawers are closed. We can see four handles. The top is cluttered with stuff and a dress book, two bottles of vitamins, floppy disks, CDs, pens, paper, normal stuff. Hands are moving everything, turning them over, shuffling through. Someone is looking for something, not panicked, but not slow. Point of view, a bar, noisy, night time. We hear breath caught, then small, quick breaths. Look at the walls, look at your hands. Images of panic overlap, overlay. This now could be jump cuts or perhaps linear. Happy, it all glows. No harsh sounds. Everything is lubricated. Books are being shared. We can see the negative spaces. Exterior, night, Car headlights illuminating dark shop fronts, a steady pace, corners are being turned, mannequins lighting up, clean aluminium meat displays, a hand-drawn sign, the car starts to slow, it stops. Exterior, day, two people sit at a table outside a cafe, one of them is a man, he is speaking. Sometimes it feels like opening up. Like letting go is the right thing to do. And you know, I almost get there and I can feel my tongue start to vibrate with the energy, but my mouth just hangs open and nothing comes. And I just gotta wait until my brain fills something to fill it back up with. And then I have to pretend to like what comes back out. And I see someone moving across the road on the, getting onto a bus. And I think, what are they doing? Why are they going there? Who have they been talking to? What does this mean for me? Montage of images. This could be 30 seconds or half an hour. Linear, interior, handheld. A body rises up, entering. Pull focus, pan right into an empty hallways, hallway. Track forwards, we hear laughter, snatches of words, almost sentences, a woman's voiceover. I've been building bridges over dry land. I've been pretty stoned lately with a long dead hand running over my scalp. I've been plotting suicides for other people, putting my own plans on hold. I'm starting to remember my dreams. In one, there's a dead cat. In another, it's magnificent, awesome. There are these steel spans holding a roadway above dusty ground, perspectively shrinking off, moving into the horizon. A wind picks up. The dust rises, fade to black for two seconds. A hand moves against a red background, touches a shoulder from behind, slowly slides round to the front, under the armpit, cupping a breast. This must be in real time. Fade to another colour. There is someone standing in front of you. They like the way you walk. They think they like the way you'll fuck. Interior, day, it is hot, humid, Sweaty, sellotape loses its grip and a photograph falls from a white wall. <clears throat> 